we brought in one of the large 48 inch jelly aquariums. Not only will this increase the volume of our system, but we believe that the sea nettle with the long dangling tentacles may require a tank that gives them more room to extend those tentacles. And as we look around, the system begins to resemble quite significantly what we had drawn on paper previously. We're now going to lower the tumbler or the cold water reservoir down into its position on the double risers. Here's the one inch drain out of the bottom of that tumbler, which in turn leads to that plumbing that required the double set of risers underneath that tank, which in turn rises up and connects with the rest of the drain line that comes from the polyp and ephyra tanks above, connecting and in turn leading over towards the top of the wet dry trickle filter. So with the tank and its drain lines in place, we now need to come up with the water return line or the line that's going to send the water into the tank. We want to give it some control, so we've incorporated a ball valve. We're getting down to the final few things, such as the electrical aspects of it. We've mounted the digital thermostat to control the chiller alongside two power strips on the underside in this open area here. It's protected and yet it's accessible. So this here is the manifold that will send the slow flow water to the polyp tanks on the top, the ephyra tank on the top, and the three ephyra tanks below. At the moment, we've only got hose barbs to fit into three of them, so we're going to get the uh, ephyra tank and the two polyp tanks running. What we're doing right now is allowing the end of the hose to soak in some boiling water, and that essentially will make the tubing soft and pliable and will allow the tubing to slip over the barbed fittings easily with the added benefit that when the tubing cools down it will form or mold itself around the barb securing it even more and we've got this plug to put on the end and we'll just about be ready to start up the system so we are uh, ready to water test the system we're going to pump in brand new salt water, sea water. We're pumping the water straight into the filter or the reservoir of the system. We're going to let it fill up a little bit before we turn on the water pump. We did a walk through just a moment ago to confirm that all the fittings are where they should be, all the valves are open or closed as they should be, um, that the fittings are glued so that there's no leaks. I do anticipate something, uh, but I always anticipate something every time on a new job. Uh, that way, if it happens, you're not disappointed. At least you're prepared mentally anyhow. So we're going to let the reservoir fill up. We'll plug in the water pump and then begin to check the system as it begins to fill up the reservoir back here. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in now, and the only thing that should be coming back, all the valves are closed except for the recirculation side, which should bring all that water right back into the filter. see it's blowing the air out of the line. So the filter began to fill up, so we restricted the recirculation valve back here and opened up the valve that lets the water into the holding tank. Now we don't have the spray bar on there yet, 
This will be the tank that adds volume to the system. Also, it's a holding tank for some of the jellies. This here is the display version, which is also a holding tank, but for now, we're going to fill this version up. And so far, no leaks, no drips. Let's go and check out the chiller outside. That's where it's coming from over there. You can see that's the holding tank. These are some of the pipes that are going out through the wall to the chiller. Appears to be no leaks out here. If I didn't tell you earlier, these are unions, in case we ever have to take the chiller out of the system. So that all appears to be fine. Okay, I'll give you the uh, big tour of the overall picture. This is the uh, new breeding system. What we have is uh, polyp tanks on top with a single Ephira tank. Middle row has three Ephira tanks. There's a little workbench there for uh, brine shrimp hatchery. Uh, then down here is a, a holding tank, and then over here is the 48-inch uh, Jelly Aquarium display tank. Uh, again, more holding room. And then, of course, down here was the filter system, which appears to be running a little low. System's filling up here. Filling up. So far, everything appears to be fine. And here you can see water that is coming from the holding tank into the wet dry trickle filter. Join us for part seven as we receive and acclimate the polyps to the new sea nettle breeding system. Wow.